Hello, my name is Andy Harvey. I'm the Marketing Manager at Advanced Engineering. I'm here at Eastleigh College today to demonstrate Pyrocore, which is our heat dissipating gel. It's designed to protect components such as expansion valves, solenoid valves, dryers, and also surfaces around where you're brazing. I will demonstrate this by spraying Pyrocore onto the surface itself and then using our TurboSit 1000, which goes up to a temperature of 3050 degrees to demonstrate how it protects the surface. Right, the pyrocoil is now applied. I'm now going to light up the TurboSet 1000 to apply some heat to the pyrocoil. Right, let's light the TurboSet 1000. Turn down the gas a little bit. Turn up the oxygen. Right, this flame is now at 3050 degrees. Apply it to the pyrocoil. As you can see, no ill effect on the pyrocoil area. If we move to the outside, you can see it instantly chars the wood. Again, the pyrocoil is protecting this area in the middle, and you're getting no damage to the area that is being protected by pyrocoil. After you're finished, you simply get a rag and clean off the excess pyrocoil. As you can see, I've just wiped off the excess pyrocoil with a rag, and you can see the outside area that wasn't protected with pyrocoil has got charred, whilst the inside area has no burning or charring on it. We will now move on to demonstrate pyrocoil being used to protect the surface while doing a braze. Right, I'm now going to apply the pyrocoil behind where we're looking to create the braze joint. Again, you want to provide a liberal coating over the entire surface that you need to protect, ensuring a thick, even covering. It's worth taking some time to do this right, because if you miss any gaps, then that is where you're going to see the burns as you're coming through as you do the brazing. Right, I put some on solenoid valve as well to ensure that that's fully protected. And my colleague will now do the braze. Just use a wet rag to cool that down quickly. And I will now use a paper cloth to wipe off the excess pyrocoil. As you can see, no burns are seen on the wood itself. Just for fun, my colleague is going to be applying some pyrocoil to some polystyrene. Again, he's got to apply a liberal coating to, for it to be effective. Once he's applied uh, a thick and even coating, he's going to apply some oxyacetylene to it. Uh, the oxyacetylene is 3,200 degrees. So, as he just said, or sorry, the oxyacetylene is 3,200 degrees, so it's hot in our turbo set 1,000. As you can see, the area that's been protected by pyrocoil, the flame is having no effect. The areas surrounding it are starting to melt. We then proceed to wipe that off with a paper towel. And as you can see, the area that was protected by pyrocoil has had no effect from the flame. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions or queries, don't hesitate to give us a call on 01256 460 300 or visit our website, which is advancedengineering.co.uk. Thank you.